when you try to draw an octopus. Most people draw it like this. But actual octopuses look different from the drawings. This part is not the head of the octopus, nor is this part its mouth. In fact, it's on the back of its head. Today, let's dissect an octopus. This is an octopus. Octopuses, like squids, belong to the class Cephalopoda, which is a type of mollusk. However, in cephalopods, although the entire area looks like a head, to be precise, the head region is this narrow area around the eyes. That's why this part visible underwater is considered the head. The upper part is the body of the octopus, so all the internal organs are located inside this body. However, octopuses have unique characteristic. Most mollusks have a hard shell to protect their soft bodies, but you won't see a shell in an octopus. The ancestors of octopuses did have shells. However, octopuses have lost their heavy shells through degeneration and have gained fast movements instead. As a result, octopuses are swift predators in the ocean, hunting for prey. Their ability to move quickly is facilitated by the siphon. Octopuses fill their bodies with water and propel themselves by expelling water through the siphon while swimming. The siphon also allows for directional changes. Although the siphon can be mistaken for the mouth, it is located towards the back of the head, even above the eyes. Since the siphon is used for expelling waste and water, it is more comparable to the anus than the mouth. The true mouth of an octopus is located in the middle of its arms. If you were to dissect around the mouth, you would find a beak-like structure. Octopuses catch their prey using the suckers on their arms, and then consume it using the beak located at the center of their arms. Now, let's dissect the octopus. If we cut and spread open the upper part of the siphon, we can see the internal organs. First, if we press the black striped area here, ink is released. This is the ink sac. It is connected to the siphon, allowing the ink to be expelled through it. This leaf-shaped structures are gills. Above the gills is the branchial heart positioned there. Octopuses have two branchial hearts on either side and one systemic heart in the middle of their bodies. So they have three hearts. The organ located in the upper part here is the gonad of the octopus. Next, to examine the digestive system, we need to remove the membrane at the back. Turn it over and open it up. From the mouth, you can see that the esophagus continues like this. The digestive tract passes through the stomach and cecum above stomach, then loops back and descends towards the siphon side, where the anus is located. That's why waste is expelled through the siphon as well. And here, in the middle, this largest part is the liver of the octopus. It secretes digestive enzymes and also serves as a buoyancy organ. Lastly, if we cut open the body and split open the head portion, we can see the octopus's eyes. The eyes of cephalopods have a camera-like structure similar to the eyes of vertebrates, and they are highly developed. Between the eyes, the optic nerve and the brain are connected. The brain of an octopus is ring-shaped, and even the esophagus passes through the middle of the brain. That's why we can see these openings. This is the end of the octopus's anatomy. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe.